Thirty seconds to go. A nerve-wracking countdown. Then this. India became the first in the world to successfully reach Mars's orbit on its first attempt. We have dared to reach out into the unknown and have achieved the near impossible. India has recently achieved some incredible triumphs in outer space. Possibly more importantly, India has also achieved some incredible triumphs in the much more delicate space inside the human body. The bringing robotics to India, I think the most important thing is we have to be at the top all the time in all technologies. The vision and the precision and everything, it's just amazing. In India, the Vatikuti Foundation has been actively supporting research and spreading the news about the amazing benefits of robotic surgery since 2010. In just the last two years, the strides made in kidney transplantation, first at Medanta and at the IKDRC Ahmedabad, have led to a global excitement and some very happy patients. I was expecting a big, big cut. <laughs> And, uh, but it's just 4.7 uh, centimeters of that small. <laughs> I was wondering how my kidney went inside. <laughs> Foundation co-founder Mrs. Padma Vatikuti reflects on what the robotic surgery patients have told her. How wonderful, how wonderful care has been taken of them and overall about the robotic surgery that the recovery period was so short and so successful. The robotic kidney transplantation with Regional Hypothermia Project has been a remarkable example of what can happen when medical minds work together on an international scale. The graft kidney is wrapped in a gauze jacket filled with eye slush. With the robot still docked, the camera and gel seal cap are removed to allow for a resistance-free insertion of the graft kidney through the Alexis wound retractor into the pelvic cavity. Immediately following the introduction of the graft, about 120 cc's of eye slush is introduced around the vascular bed via modified Tumi syringes. The graft renal vein is then anastomosed in an end-to-side continuous fashion to the external iliac vein. The renal artery is anastomosed in an end-to-side continuous fashion to the external iliac artery. The inner mucosal layer of the bladder was approximated to the urethromucosal layer the abdomen is closed in the conventional manner and on-table ultrasound was performed to check for renal graft perfusion. One of the, 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 the great things about, uh, uh, about my life has been uh, um, the wonderful people that I've been able to work with uh, uh, and how we truly have collaborated with one another and have helped one another. I think uh, the, the kind of uh, uh, foresight and the vision that both the institutions really help to come together and uh, really collaborate on several things. Most important is this kidney transplant and that has really proven what the institution should really do. With the help of the Vatikuri team from Detroit, we did our first set of seven consecutive robotic transplants. We had anticipated so many problems, but to our surprise, they all were negated on the very table itself. Dr. Mahendra Bandari helped direct the robotic kidney transplant project, but he doesn't take the credit. It's not only one or two persons who have made it to happen. There are hosts of nephrologists, transplant surgeons, laparoscopic surgeons, and anesthesiologists were involved. It was totally a patient-centric development, not driven by the, the hawk of something different, something new. I'll give entire credit to Dr. Menon's leadership over the period of a decade of his sojourn with robotic surgery. The OLV Vatikuti Robotic Surgery Institute is also so fortunate to be part of the Vatikuti Foundation network. So I am also very happy to do this because this proves that our training center is also worldwide involved. And in this way, I certainly want to thank uh, Mr. Vatikuti 
for helping us out to build out this novel training center. Surgery has uh, completely advanced. You can see uh, from Harvey Cushing using headlights uh, in the OR to the Da Vinci setup joint, which came up in 1996. Uh, that innovation is a part of surgery, especially <clears throat> uh, now it has like become integrated into minimally invasive surgery. The 2012 Vatikuti Global Robotics Conference was the first robotic surgery gathering of its kind in India. Hundreds of surgeons came from across the country to learn about robotic surgery. Presenters were some of the best robotic surgeons in the world and some of the country's top medical leaders. India is a beneficiary of this whole movement that we can see very clearly it will multiply very rapidly in India because the patients are actually benefiting. These patients have much more intra-abdominal fat. The growth of robotic surgery has been fueled by the efforts of the foundation-sponsored Robotic Surgeon Council of India. But the point is for the video-assisted surgeon or the laparoscopic surgeon who, who wants to sit in the conference and argue about these techniques, he is missing the boat for the future. The future is all robotic and computer. Meeting twice annually, members share their latest ideas and work together to advance knowledge of robotic surgery to benefit both surgeons and patients. I and all of us feel that it's, it's one of the surgeries in which using robotic assistance we can make a difference for the patient. For over a decade, the VUI has collected meticulous, impartial robotic surgery and patient data for study using third-party independent analysis. This data has helped prove to the world that the benefits of robotic procedures are real. Vatikuti Foundation has a mission of exploring new robotic technologies or any minimally invasive technology which is expected to improve the quality of current treatment and current quality of patient care. In the same mission, we have focused on trying to develop new procedures to improve upon the existing standards of care. We have also focused on developing what you call Vatikuti Quality Initiative. The Vatikuti Collective Quality Initiative, or VCQI, is a growing collection of multi-procedural robotic surgery data. The VCQI features a perspective, user-friendly, web-based platform. Hand-picked institutions contribute their robotic surgery data in a prospective manner to a safe, HIPAA-compliant database. Talking about robotic surgery in the VUI Detroit, may I say what a privilege it is to be here. The VUI is dedicated to the global efforts of the VCQI by providing data and staff support. In the U.S., the Roswell Park Cancer Institute and the University of Miami Institute of Robotic Surgery are also significant partners in the management of the VCQI data. The OLV Vatikuti Robotic Surgery Institute in Alst, Belgium, and the Institute of Robotic Surgery at King's College London are both data repositories for the VCQI, in addition to their leadership roles for training robotic surgeons in Europe. In India, thanks to the VCQI, both partner and non-partner institutions will have a safe means to store and share their data. Researchers will have access to results and trends across hospitals, continents, and specialties. What works and what does not, when disseminated from data-driven facts, will help surgeons everywhere achieve better, safer results. We welcome you to share your data with the VCQI. We set up a team now to capture the state-of-the-art, these uh, techniques, different techniques, in a video library so people can, from any place, can view these techniques. Another Vatikuti Foundation resource that has been largely overlooked is the website vfrsi.vatikutifoundation.com. Robotic surgery videos, news, journal articles, events, and learning opportunities are there for all to use. Fluorescence can be used for different purposes. During the selective test clamp, part of the tumor was still vascularized. Consequently, the central renal artery needed to be clamped during a nuclear resection in order to maintain a bloodless field.
The website is a free service that we offer as a tool for surgeons to grow their knowledge of surgical robotics. You are invited to explore what it has to offer. Please tell your colleagues, give us feedback, send us your trading videos, your journal papers. Let this website be a means of sharing accomplishments with your colleagues and your ideas and tricks of the trade. It's your website. Help us make it the best in the world. The future of surgery is harnessing the power of software and computers uh, to surgery. Uh, the future of surgery is uh, making it less traumatic. Much has been accomplished since the Vatikuti Foundation Roadshow first began introducing the benefits of robotic surgery throughout India in 2011. As uh, Raj Vatikuti said, if you can share with the community, being in healthcare, we always believe there's yet another thing that we can do. There's another human being who really requires what's the best that we can do. When we started with three, four hospitals, now we have about 25 hospitals. Pretty soon we'll have 50 hospitals, hundreds of surgeons, not only doing the great things in India, but they're really bringing the innovation to the world. It's really shown the world is too small. And if you take a great uh, invention here in the uh, U.S. and the, the technology and the, and, the, and the procedure gone to India, and it shows you the talent is everywhere in the world, and it's up to us how do we leverage and bring that together, having the great leaders like Dr. Bandari and Dr. Menon, and now in India, Dr. Alawat, they all really will make the difference. Now just the kidney, next thing is the liver, pancreas, there's so many opportunities to bring the best uh, things to the surgical world, and this will really make the difference for the patients. Welcome to the future. Welcome to the Vatikuti Foundation Global Robotics 2015 Robotic Surgery Conference.